Yahoo! Prof oh. here. Squares is there, and he brought Corsair's latest mouse. And then I also bought Corsair's latest mouse, except the quote unquote worst one. Oh, yours has a deep. Man! <laughs> I should have bought this one. <laughs> oh well. All right. All right, what do we what do we got here? Okay, we got we got we got uh, what is this a saber 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 pro? Wait, is that is there no RGB in this? No RGB. I don't like this guy. Oh, let me get squares ended up picking up because it, it was right at Best Buy though, right? Physically, at, I I saw it on the shelf and I went, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna buy it because it looked interesting. You bought it because I don't. You let me borrow your Viper 8K and I wanted to try another one that actually it's, had. Oh, it's got the eight kilohertzes. Yep. The the eight the eight K eight K resolutions. I think that's one of three mice now. It's this. Is it uh is it that, reflex certified though? It's actually I think the fastest. It's this mouse actually I think was rated faster than the Viper eight K. I didn't think that was even possible with mechanical switches, but apparently it is. From one of the videos I saw for the reviews for it. Leg gasp. So it's that, and it's I think it's an Asus mouse or a yeah. Gigabyte mouse. Oh well, like no, that. the Asus is the the, the the we I have the original one. The, With the 8K? No, not the 8K. I don't have the 8K version. I, have I was the, gonna say there's a, there's an 8K variant. Of it. Right, so it's Gladius. Why, yeah, but it's got shitty clicks, so it's fine. Like, is that the newest one that they redid that had the 8K sensor then too? Yeah, they just still use the same shell. That's one yeah. of the interchangeable clicks. Remember, so the clicks are way back in the body, so there's a ton yeah. of pre and post pet, post travel, and unless you like move your finger back, if you have a claw grip and you go, <laughs> it works really good. But like otherwise, it's literal garbage. <laughs> if if you're Luke from Linus Tech Tips, thumbs up. If you're not Luke from Linus Tech, yeah. Tech Tips, thumbs up. Because a you need a big hand and you need a claw grip, and big hands and claw grip you don't go together. If you're not a giant, basically. Yeah, if you're not a just a humongous human. And this is the this is the garbage. Oh, right? so we went the backwards. Corsair, the yeah. the K Katar Pro XT. If you watch, oh, and I just got Sorry. hit with box. Sorry, Neil, you're um, like... If uh, you watch the previous video, safety information. Corsair improved with the Katar Pro XT. I mean, it was the, the simpler packaging, which this, is better. This requires you to like. Uh, how, how many seals are we killing with this? I don't know, man. Or otters, sea otters. How many sea otters? We're, we're are killing you? trees left and right, apparently. Just to, come on. Get, get Just to have a metal or a plastic uh, shell that you can fit your hand on that isn't even exposed on the outside of the box. Yeah. It's a lovely plastic cover underneath. Yeah. The oh. offset sensor position. You have a dedicated DPI button on the bottom, but not on the top. That's kind of weird. Mine has it on there, but I would not have preferred on the bottom. It. That's weird. This is for, like, professional gamers. Uh, well, I'm I'm the pro, the prof, 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 fist, professionalist, yeah. uh, still... and then I'm also the professorist and the philosopherist yeah. and the the profist. If you've talked to Cooler Master, profist. Pro All right, so there you go. They got your copy here. No RGB. I think actually this for a little a little nicer in some regards. And you got mine because I don't like the. Smoother plastic. That is tall mouse. Color. That is a tall mouse. So I put some grips on. That is a. Okay, so for everybody who thought this was gonna be like their next most amazing mouse, no. It's big. She is. If you she is a big adder, boy. No, this is bigger than a death adder. This is like oh, yeah. we're we're getting an arrival three hundred size. Yeah, don't worry about it. And it is hollow. Like, I mean, is yours feel as hollow? No. Oh, but you got the soft touch on there. Mm, we just got can... bare plastic here. You just... It's still the same cable as the XT. Hey, they finally fixed that. Mine's a little derpy, but don't worry about it. But yeah, so we got the... here Over here we have the uh, Saber Pro RGB. RGB edition. Yep. And then over here we have... I purposely went out of my way to spend, I think, more money... Isn't it cheaper though for this? It's supposed to be, but on yeah. Best Buy had a sale on this one, I think, right now. It could be. So, and that's what happened, remember, with the, with the, not the Gladius, what's the other, the big fat right handed Corsair mouse that has the aluminum piece and the one that didn't have the aluminum piece? The Glaive? Glaive, yeah. So yeah. the metal RGB Glaive yeah. ended up being cheaper because it kept having sales on it than the 
non-metal, non-RGB glaive. Because I wanted a non-metal, non-RGB glaive. But when that's $60 and the metal RGB one is $40, uh, I buy the, the $40 one. Yeah. Wouldn't you buy the $40 one? I'd probably go price over a lot of stuff. But this reminds me of the, uh, what was the Cool Cooler Master Mouse? The Mizar Elcor. So th this is the Mizar. Not shape-wise, guys, but like in feature-wise. This is the Mizar. To me. And that's the Elcor. To me, like, oh, I think you're talking, you're going by, like, specs, what it's yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. shape-wise, to me, yeah. you remember the HyperX Pulse Fire? Yeah, it's pretty close. It's taller, way taller. Yeah, it, like, you know, the okay, sides let's, kind let's, of... Let's give this a, let's give a side a profile shape. shot here. Yeah. That's the nice thing about this thing being very square. You can just kind of, like... Set it down. Set it down right on the... Come on, we need to focus, though. Here we go. Okay, there's a side profile shot. Here's a butt profile shot. You see how the sides kind of like slant? Yeah, they like slant that. the wrong way. Yeah, so it's a little, instead of being flat. Here is the correct way to slant your yeah. sides. You either do it that way or like straight up and down if you can. Try not to do it at an angle. I just tooted. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah, there you go, there you go. We got some white back there. Yeah. So see the sides? Ktar Pro XT is on the right. The uh, Saber... Pro is on the left. I also think, and I just realized though, like as I was giving him crap about naming this the Saber, because mm -hmm. I have the actual Saber upstairs. Mm -hmm. Like the Saber RGB optical. Yeah, the one that was low profile. And yeah, yeah, was yeah. Like a so, but, but then I'm realizing that, oh, this was also a completely different mouse when it was the mm -hmm. Katar non pro. So, apparently, guys, instead of coming up with new names, you just add pro at the end, and instead of making it a better version, which is how pro normally means, is that like pro mm -hmm. is like. A higher spec version of the same mouse. It's just a completely different freaking mouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apparently that's how Corsair works. Hey, you know, I think I'm happy with the changes. It definitely is. <laughs> Make a <it> complete. <laughs> um, I think it's definitely a, a better shape. If you're into palm grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's but the other one was like a fingertip grip mouse. Like we're not even in the same claw. realm. Yeah. But you gotta remember they also make the uh what what's the the claw named mouse that's a palm mouse iron claw, claw? yeah iron yeah. claw it's got claw in the name and it's a palm grip mouse you yeah, don't worry about it here here's this profile guys we should have like a white piece of printer paper you know what i mean just to put it behind yeah, yeah just uh uh maybe just... grab can you grab the the pikachu binder that might help see it down there this one right yeah, here yeah, yeah that's pretty white i think the back side's even Grayish. whiter but yeah here you go How's that, guys? That's that's better, you yeah. know. So that's the that's the uh, what right side profile. Yep. And then here we have the straight on front. It's got to have its its diffuser if you see it there. You know, like because you know it's really fast. It's got to you know get that airflow underneath it mm -hmm. to push it down yeah. into the. Yeah, and that's yeah. how this one is too. Yep. And we'll take a look at the. This is now the pro. RG Bizzle. Ignore the side grips. Also add it after the fact. Cause... I can tell you, especially on the this one, yeah. that's like so smooth. That's just smooth plastic. Yeah, it kind of slips out of your hand otherwise. So I just so, put some. And here's the back side. The one thing that I oh, that I did notice right away, the difference that may, may matter to some of you. I prefer just smooth plastic, like yeah. like that one is. But this one has soft touch. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. It's a different, probably a different feel to the actual... Uh, I think it's because it's RGB. In order for them to they be able to cut that... coating, yeah, I suppose. That it's required, it's basically, to have different. that. And then we got grips on the right side. A Gertrude is going after your cable, by the way. Just so you know. That's fine. It's going to be destroyed. That's fine. Um, same sort of thing here. Uh, is the scroll wheel any different? Yes, because this one's hollow. You can see it through there. Okay, So if you okay. look at the sides... Let's take it. Let's get up the camera here. Bring oh yeah, guys, down. by the way, we are using, um, for reference, for backing there, this is my uh, Pokemon 25th Anniversary uh, Partners collection here, you know, with the, with the gigantic cards. You, know, yeah. you got your starters in here, Score Bunny in the, in the gigantic cards. Yeah. So uh, check out the other half of our channel, since it's basically just mice and Pokemon at this point. Pretty much. Maybe a, a dash of keyboards. Yeah. Yeah. So it, you actually get some strain relief on this, yeah. 
It's not hardened plastic like the XT. It's a more expensive mouse, though. Yeah, that's true. So, like, the plug on here is actually rubber. Yeah. Whereas on the Pro XT, that is hard plastic. So that's an improvement. I don't know why they couldn't have just... I guess this is a newer mouse, too. Maybe they learned a little bit. The mouse side, though, is still rock fucking... Yeah. This is still a rock. Yeah, it's, of course, there still has their... At the end, though, it's, it's got a little bit, but for the most part, yeah. It, of course, there still is their strain relief that looks really strain relief -y. Yeah. And then isn't. At least it's not like... They don't pull an apple where they don't even try. I suppose, yeah. They just, like, take a hard piece of plastic and then put rubber right there, and I'm like, it'll be fine. You can yeah. just buy a new cable when it breaks. Yeah. The, by the way, guys, the issue with that, though, is nobody ever buys a new cable. And they're like, why isn't it charging anymore? Do you, do you not see the wires fraying out from your cable? Well, I didn't think that was an issue. It's still plugged in. Oh! Oh! What is with this, man? Or like when people use a bent micro B cable in their phone and, well, yeah. why'd my micro B port break? Yeah. Well, well you, the cables are so expensive. No, you know what's expensive? Your thousand dollar phone. Your five dollar cable. Yeah. Is not expensive. Yeah. And I agree. Micro B was designed correctly. The cable should break, not the phone. Yeah. However, when you take the cable and you jam it in, jam a broken cable into a working port, yeah. guess what happens? You, you break stuff. <laughs> or if you plug it in the wrong way. Oh, God. Because it's not like Type-C. Yep. Or uh, Lightning, is it correct? Apple uses Lightning. Still, somehow. Yeah, because it's reversible somewhat. Type-C is reversible. Yeah. Or overheating. But, yeah, I mean, like... You can see because like it's kind of see-through for the wheel. Yeah. And then you get the RGB. And then actually, if you look into the actual mouse here, you can see there's a board. Probably the... That's the LED. PCB for the circuit board, yeah. Yeah, so if you look... I don't know if I'll be able to focus on that because well, it's, it's a dark mass there. Yeah. But you can see the ring for the LED. Yeah. It's hollow on the Pro non-RGB one. I think it's only like four or five extra grams. They feel the same. That's the same encoder. Yeah. Um, I personally though, I bought it because I down with down with RGB. Fight the power. Yeah. Fight the power. Down with RGB. I get the top DBI button though. I, I do prefer the top DBI button. I don't have to worry about that. that that's the other <laughs> the other thing. Is not that I can't deal with the bottom yeah. DPI button. Let's rip this off here. Um but I do prefer the top one because I do change DPIs quite often. Yeah, I mean that's e even in game menus. A lot of times I'll bump it up to sixteen hundred, mm -hmm. and then when we're actually playing. I'll drop her down to four. Mm -hmm. um, though another thing I should bring up about this uh, that we did bring up with the Viper eight K. By the way, uh, the user of this mouse is not the user of that mouse. Are you? No, well, I suppose yeah. It's Those are completely different humans. I can use them both, but I mean out of the two, okay. This is definitely more comfortable to use, for sure. Of the two mice, though, palm from, grip. Yeah. Fingertip grip. Yeah, well, you can kind of palm it. It's not the greatest We've been over palm, that. but yeah, it's not designed. For if that. you watch a video that just went live today, yeah. Uh, though I don't know how far out this video is going to be. Yeah. Um, this today in reality. Yeah. Uh, we just launched the Viper 8, 8, 8K. Is better than 5G video. And yes, I was memeing it up with the title. Yeah. What this black, this gray strip there is? I don't have that in this one. Well, we shall take a look after the camera cools down. Weird. Go. Okay, so what we were talking about is on the bottom here, you just see the part number and the serial number over there. And then over here, uh, there is a gray area. And that's like, uh, I would almost call that like, Oh, crap. Is it, like, six, not 60% gray, but that, like, the neutral, like, when you have a gray card mm. for shooting, like, video. It's mm -hmm. that same, like, really neutral mm -hmm. gray color. So I didn't know if that had something to do with, like, the sensor tracking or something like that. I'll, my other idea, because it's it's not mentioned. I consulted the box. Mm -hmm. It's not on here. Mm -hmm. Not on the box. The other thing, since it's the Pro Champion Series, is that possibly where you write your gamer tag? Because, you know, like, you would have programmed this in hardware. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have your whole team's worth of crap in a box or something. And you go to the tournament. Or say you have multiple programmed already, in case you break one. Do you, do you have, like, it says, 
you know, the Profisk. Oh, that's the other one that we had from, from remember Profisk? F-I-S-K? That was the other one that Cooler Master sent. I miss you guys, Cooler Master. I really do. But, you know, like, ever since you got your new PR team, we apparently aren't bros. I could talk to the international guy, but he can't send me, um, you know, like, review samples. It is what it is. What you gonna do? I know, right? And the Manuel. Oh, just for reference. Oh, Jay. Jay, it's in here. Signature strip. So apparently that's where you're supposed to put your signature. I would have called that a gamer tag strip or something. Interesting. So well, this, it's not even is, for your gamer tag. It's for your signature. This is like the the travel mouse, basically. Yeah. You go, you game. This is the the home gamer. The, the R sh yeah shows up in see. Amazon search results because if it doesn't have RGB, it's not. If you don't have RGB and gaming in yeah. your in your technology, yeah. it doesn't show up in search results anymore. It's twenty five percent of your skill though. <laughs> I find it interesting they call it signature strip. I have to wonder if that's maybe like a translation error from like Chinese or something. Because you would think it would be like gamer tag or something, you know, like. Yeah. Not signature. Because who would put their sign signature. Signature on their. their yeah. Mouse? Yeah. If you're giving away, maybe? Maybe. Is that what they're made for? For Cooler Master. Or, uh, Corsair gamers to. Here, here's a mouse kid. Signed by. Yeah. Whoever uses. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, default DPI in here yeah. are listed right there if it would just freaking focus. 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 3200. Uh, and the, uh, this 3200 is cap Capri? Yeah, Capri. Capri? Yeah. What color is Capri? I don't know. Hey, guys, what color is Capri? Like, I, I, know, I know, like... Our red, green, blue, you know, we got, you know, and we got, like, you know, your magenta, your cyan. Let's look it up. What the heck is Capri? A deep shade of sky blue between cyan and azure. Why would they not just use cyan or, know. you know, like, because cyan's like a default color, like an existing... You're paying the big bucks. Uh, yeah, they so... get the Capri. They get Capri, apparently, guys. Yeah. Does yours have Capri? Bet you yours doesn't, because it's not pro. It doesn't have I, I customized mine. Blue, blue, blue seal. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Are you sure you're not in, like, some... Azul Capri. Okay. No, no, it's... Capri. No, that is the... They, they specifically, for some reason... Instead of saying blue... No, because that's a specific red, blue. Red, white, green. Yeah, purple, yeah, but, but no, here they have in the other one is azul white. capri because that's blue. Yeah. It's capri blue. So why don't they just use blue or use yeah. or use cyan, which would be the other yeah. common blue? Yeah. I, I I don't know, but capri guys, muy importante. The big thing with this too, if you want to actually use software with it, you have to download the new IQ. Oh, you got DPI doodads over here. Do I have DPI doodads over there? Nope. No. No. You have a... Okay, guys, so here's the other there. thing. DPI is down here with... So you wouldn't have a Zul Capri or Capri. No. Because you have... Just, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so, so you didn't have Capri. You don't even have this amazing function yeah, of, a, of this blue I never knew existed. Mine changes colors here and there. <laughs> and then here's a static But color. watch, like, the one color it can't do yeah. is Capri. Like, yeah, it's just I, not... I it's like, it's grayed out in the... I guess I didn't try it's just a red X when you uh, yeah I want Capri and it's just like no you don't have the you don't have the pro one so I guess I didn't try you know yeah so the other thing is you don't have the DPIs here because you got just the generic couple steps down here yeah mine's up top and you got the booper yeah which is really uh, like really low that's profile really and like flush, hard to so there's no way you're gonna accidentally like roll your finger across it. I am happy I got the non RGB because down with RGB fight the power yeah. um also. I like the non, the just raw plastic. The coating. The non-coated coating. This one's not too bad. I'm not saying it's bad. The glossy side. The glossy, though, the is... The add oh. grip, but at the same time, they're fingerprint magnets. See, so, of course, there's back yeah. their old tricks here with just, like, putting random Matt, glossy bits on, on stuff. glossy. Is and there glossy bottom? Gloss, no. no, I mean, just Gloss feet, front in the... And then, yeah, wraps around. You can't really see because I got the grips there, but, like, it's matte gloss, matte gloss. Personally, I'd say as long as pricing, it, like this one's supposed to be cheaper. Yeah. Um, if it actually is, I personally would go this yeah. route. 
Um, because down with RGB. Uh, it's not a bad mouse. Honestly. Also, this is already running the DPIs that I like. What was this running? Do you remember? Same ones. It's 400, 800, 1600, okay. 3200. That's so hard 5, to hit. 5000, I think. That's so hard. I, uh, at yeah. least on the bottom, like it's a big old big button. Yeah, like I'm yeah. fine with like. See how easy that is to hit. I don't know if you guys can see that from... The, the one thing I noticed with this when I did connect it to my computer and I updated the software is you have to use five DPI steps. That's fucking dumb. Because of... Because it's coarser? Well, it's like, it'll have one... Wait, you can't even just do three? No. Because it'll have so one and then it'll do two. Yep. So you'll get that one eliminated. Then they'll so jump to the three. Corsair is, is that still... Net, and then the last one uses just that button. So Corsair uh, is LED. still pulling that BS. Yeah. But you can go through and just say, like, if you want 400... So you make them all 400, okay. 800, or that, But that's a kludgy solution we did in 2005. It is what it is, you know? Like Remember, because in 2005, you either got one DPI step, yeah. or you had five. Well, I'm pretty certain, like, you don't have to hit apply to mouse or anything like that. Like, you just got to make sure you use the harbor profile when you go through it for the color and for the uh, DPI steps, and then it saves natively to the mouse. Or what you do is you just buy the non-RGB one, and you just use it as it comes, and you're good. Yeah, you can do that for here, too. Like, straight out of the box, it's decent DPI steps. I want, well, no, you have to install the software to actually get higher than 1,000 hertz bowling, though. So you probably... Oh, for 8K? Yep. Well, that's because, okay, if anybody knows or knows of a good video... Yeah. Um, about that explains 8K on like mice and keyboards please hit me up with it and i don't mean like using it and showing the latency because this is still usb 2.0 from a standard usb polling perspective mm -hmm. higher than 1000 hertz mm -hmm. should not be possible isn't it something with to do with the sensor though i mean aren't they changing up the the see that's i that, I, I actually don't know i've not seen yeah. anything on it because i guess yeah, that makes sense if they're pulling the sensor yeah. eight thousand times a second and then the processor in the mouse does it, and then it still reports at a thousand though. Yeah. So that's different. If they use USB 3.0, they might actually be able to report at eight, like to the system. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing that kind of had me confused too when they first announced the Viper 8K. Right? Was okay. Am I going to have to jump to a 3.0 port? Right. Because you need more bandwidth. And there's already been port. keyboards that require 3.0. Like Corsair's made them yeah. that already require 3.0. Yeah. And. Now, some of them, the early ones, required it because of power. Yeah. But some of the other ones required it because of controllers. But, you know. They, but, yeah, these do not. Like, so, if anybody has any info, because, I, I mean, I have a fairly good understanding of, like, uh, keyboard controllers, and if you want to talk, like, you know, like, 500 hertz versus 1,000 hertz and how that works on a mouse, like, I understand that from a USB polling perspective and how you override it, because by default, every USB port is 125. Mm -hmm. Like, it is until you... There's ways to get around that, and that's why you get a thousand. Mm. But so there's no way that these USB 2.0 devices at a USB controller level are reporting at eight thousand. Mm. Eight thousand, at least from my understanding, I might be wrong there. So if it's just the mouse, are we sending now not raw mouse data? Is it going compressed, and then the software is like decajiggering it? Because like technically, the raw bandwidth on a mouse mm. on a USB 2 is plenty for what the sensor is sending out. But it's not going to send it as like a USB mouse because you know like like an HID, mm. like kind of like your HID liberator, right? The mouse is an HID device as well. Mm. Well, that's not going to come through as like that high of a bandwidth, eight kilohertz, because you're not you're pulling at the USB controller, not at like you know what I mean, like yeah. So I I'm really interested if anybody you know or say maybe you've seen videos going over like how this eight kilohertz technology actually works. Mm. I would be very interested because I don't. It, it's either like like Square said here, like the sensor is pulling at eight thousand. It's either the sensor, or it's I think the microprocessor of the mouse is I pulling at eight thousand. But then it's still sending the PC at one thousand if we're if we're relying on HID That's the devices. Weird part like with the Viper, if I remember correctly, the Viper the sensor itself does the eight K. Yeah. But the buttons still pull at one thousand hertz. So, so that means it's probably still using HID device. Oh, so yeah, we overheat it again. All right, we're back, guys. We're back, but we gotta be a little stealthy here. Sorry about cutting in and out. Look at, look at who's over here taking a little nappy nap. Oh, you woke up. Sorry, damn it. <laughs> he was not. He was not amused. 
I, I forget where we, or we were discussing the 8K. Yeah. Scrooge is saying he feels like the Viper's 8K is way smoother. I, it just feels like better implemented. I don't know. What happens when they put it in the Death Hatter? I don't know. I don't Excuse know. me. But well, guys, if we if I get a little burpy, um, can of dry uh, ginger ale with lemonade. Great, no. great drink. Not sponsored. Either. Not sponsored. It's just really good. If you guys haven't tried, like, give me like ginger ale and lemonade. That doesn't sound like it goes well together or something. That's what I thought at first, but it, it goes like for DC, yeah. really well together. Yeah. Now, if they made a bold can of dry bold with lemon, oh, it's end game. yeah, just end game right there. But I, I don't know. It just. I, I think this feels like a pretty good mouse, but yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna admit here, realistically, this guy, the Katar Pro XT, minus, was the mouse minus the fact that it doesn't have the 8K polling. Correct, That's but it's case. also a thirty dollar mouse. I mean, this is only like a fifty dollar mouse if I remember correctly. This was fifty five. Okay, so that's not too bad. And that's so. discounted. So I think it's normally a sixty dollar mouse. Okay. I thought this one was fifty five or fifty nine maybe. Maybe that is fifty five. Yeah, you get a little bit extra. Yeah, okay. that one's actually fifty right now on sale. Because Corsair is putting their mice on sale right after they come I mean, out. The biggest thing is like between this and the Viper. Yeah. The Viper just feels more substantial. Yeah. Like it feels. Well, of course, it, I mean, the Razer has better build quality. I'm sorry, but. Like, it, it actually feels like you're holding something that feels pretty well built. This feels kind of hollow and kind of cheap. It's not bad, but, like, their software is still not great. Oh, and the, by the way, guys, and the, the uh, doesn't seem Sabre Pro, uh, yeah. 69 grams. 69. 69. That's How nice. much is the Katar Pro XT? Mm -hmm. 73 grams so a bigger mouse is lighter yes i felt that when i picked it up like they did it well hey you know what good job i think i like the cable on the guitar yeah that's know. got no strain relief though that's true but it just it, this is all this is this is softer though it's this is a thicker yeah. softer cable yeah that's a thinner lighter cable yeah. but zero strain relief that's true so it's gonna eat itself alive. <laughs> so just eat it off the table, don't worry. <laughs> like, but good, though. I still think the Katar Pro XT is what like mouse enthusiasts actually wanted. Yeah. When they thought this is what they wanted, like Corsair thought and marketed this, and they even with with like the the signature pad. Yeah. Say, say, it should just be a gamer tag or something like that. Oh, and it's, uh, what, what, what color was that? It's got its special, uh, Capri. Yeah, Capri. 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 Capri's, Capri Sun. Is yeah. that why Capri Sun is that color? I don't know. I, it comes in a pouch. You gotta yeah. stab into it to drink it. That's all I remember. I, okay, guys, is, is Capri Sun, Sun Capri Sun because the, the color Capri? Uh, have I just, like, blown the lid off this thing? Maybe. I feel like... Okay, no, maybe I'm just grabbing the cable weird. It's not as bad. No, the... But it definitely seems like this cable doesn't move it nearly as much as... You get more yeah. slack there, though, too. Yeah, true. Yeah, the, the, here, we can we can hit this up here. The, the cable on the Sabre Pro is a thicker, looser grade cable. Mm. Probably more flexible. Uh, this is a thinner, lighter one. Still plenty flexible, I would say, on the on this. Mm -hmm. Strain relief on here is zero, though. Are you talking on the actual mouse? On the mouse, and right look at there. that. Look at that. Well, that's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty much zero on the mouse, yeah. too. Um, hey, Corsair, have you heard of this thing called rubber? It's, it's good here, though. Yeah, right yes. there. See, Corsair, see that rubber right there? Yeah. Take that rubber and put it right there. Yeah, they're probably just, you know, doing their best to protect. How is this so big and so light? I don't know. It feels hollow. Uh, yeah, it definitely <laughs> does. Even the RGB model. It, if, if you like, if you guys like, we're rings, talking Death Adder or Bigger Mice. Yeah. Take a look at the Saber. If you loved the Pulse Fire FPS yep, from yep. HyperX, or that that that's uh, pretty similar to what as about well. the uh, that one Thermal Take mouse, the Ventus Ventus R? 
uh, no, the big is it the, the big one? It's the big one. Is yeah, because I have the I had it in red and in RGB. The other one you're thinking of might be the Iris. Otherwise, no, it's the, the Ventus. Yeah, Ventus X. No, Ventus X. Yeah, Ventus X. Yes, yes, Ventus yeah, X. Sorry. If you like a Ventus X, or that the, uh, the Ventus R was, I think, like a little. Yeah, yeah. Little guy the Ventus X or the like this. remember the Gigabyte one that was a knockoff Death Adder. Yeah, the Oros. Whatever. That yeah, this feels a lot like that, a little bit bigger. This is a little bit bigger, yeah. But this, even build quality wise, yeah. feels a lot like that. Like yeah. if you're into those mice, um, this mouse would probably highly appeal to you. Yeah. And I'm still gonna side with buy the non RGB Saber Pro personally because down with RGB. Had, had they had fight the power, I probably would have went with one. Um, unless you like, unless you like the soft touch, if you do. Yeah. You know, or say if your entire computer is uh Corsair IQ'd out inside and out. Yeah. I feel sorry for you. Um you might want to invest in some side grips or at least some grip tape for at least yep. that cuz yep. I feel like that. And and you know, you know where you can buy grip tape now from? The razor. Razor. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's generic ones too, right? Uh yeah, lizard skins is what yeah. they're really nice. They're really thin. That's the important thing I think about getting grips. Yeah. Is uh you use like gun grip, don't you? Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um you want to make works. sure whatever whatever grip tape you get is very thin cuz a lot of these mouse shapes like especially this, if you made this much thicker, mm. like you can notice it here. It's not too bad, but like those side buttons, mm. I already cannot hook my thumb mm. underneath them, which I need personally. Mm. If I can't get my thumb under, it's kind of like it scoops right there too. If it's yep. like right in this region. Yeah. So on the thumb region, I probably wouldn't put any grips. Like I'm good here. Yeah. Now over here, I might put some. And you know me with the right and left click, I'd probably sl just slap, Another. slather that entire thing with, yeah. with a grip, grippy tape. Um, because these also, I feel like the left and right click, you don't have much. Um, like increasing the height doesn't matter. Like, you know, like putting a thin piece of grip tape yeah. doesn't affect the grip. Whereas on the side where if your buttons only stick out so far, adding grip tape really yeah. affects it. Um, I, yeah, I still think the Viper is probably a, just a better mouse in general. It's a completely different shape though. Yes. You have to remember that guys. Like we're talking once again, not, I'm not saying if you like the death header, you will like this mouse. No, no, no. I'm saying more like rival 300, uh, Probably, probably that that Gladius too. If yep. you like the Gladius, you'd like oh, this. If that. you like the Ventus X, if you like IME 3.0, if you're an IME 3.0 guy, kind of towards this. Or even the kind of the the Death Adder. Yep. The non V2 Death Adder, which yep. seemed to be really ginormous. Uh, otherwise, like Gladius that they made. Yep. Um, I still think like the Hyper X Pulse Fire yep. FPS. That was probably the biggest one that it reminded me. And this me is definitely an improved box. shape over that. Yes. Because the sides, and even those sides contour the wrong way, yeah. they at least contour to your hand. Yeah. So it's not away from your hand, because that HyperX was literally like... It does It, it does kind of go away from your hand a bit. It fits my fairly well. Like, it, my my grip on here, Yeah. I don't know how to show this on... It hooks just right here, so you get a grip, and then it kind of hooks right up under here. So it kind of does plant your fingers in there. What do I... Do I have like an 18 centimeter hand, I think? Is what I, 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 what I, what no I found clue. out. Um, either way, like my hand is like your average uh, adult human male. Mm -hmm. I'm 5'10 and a half, which is exactly average U.S. adult male height. Mm -hmm. No longer exactly average weight because that's like 155 point something. Mm -hmm. uh, blew a lot away a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Um, but hand, the, so hand size, if, if you're talking like any Logitech, uh, Arcanoc mouse, my hand fits it perfectly. Death mm -hmm. Adder, bang on. And I know you guys might think now the Death Adder is a giant mouse. That's technically a medium mouse. If we go by our old terms. I guess, yeah. For a palm grip, that is a medium mouse. Medium, medium, large. Yeah, yeah. medium, medium, large. So I'm saying this is a little bit larger than that. Yeah, this is probably like... More to the large side. I, I would say a Glaive is bigger. That'd be Corsair's other right-handed mouse. So I think the Rival 300 is definitely bigger. Uh, in the back, in the front, it's skinnier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's a little bit different of a shape. This is a, a very hand-filling, but not yeah. not huge. Because, you know, some of them will make your hand feel like the Gladius, the Asus uh, Gladius makes your hand just like, yeah. you're moving around this like thing that's bigger than you. Like, you know, like, I think it is the only right-handed variant mouse that's 8K, though. 
I'm pretty sure. That's because a lot of the the, the pro ones want to be like ambidextrous because it's neutral and. God. I think the uh, the Viper definitely obviously we can see is ambidextrous. Well, the Gladius, the Asus Gladius is going to be that, but the, I wouldn't recommend yeah, actually buying not, that that's thing. That's not 8K. I think it is. That's the one that they used that they Those upgraded the AK. One? Yeah, I hmm. thought. I thought there was that, and what was the other one? You said there was a gigabyte or something. Yeah. It's either an Asus one, or I'm trying to think. This is one of them I know, and I think there's one other manufacturer who did 8K polling that they had for the mice. And if it is the Gladius from Asus, guys, I do not recommend it. Like, unless you have a massive paw... And our claw grip. Mm -hmm. Because they give up a lot to have those interchangeable switches. And then still put the screws under the mouse feet. And they just released they just released a mouse that's very much like this Corsair Katar and the 203. Mm -hmm. And has interchangeable mouse feet. Linus covered it on their short circuit one. Has interchangeable clickers, right? Still have to remove the mouse feet to get to, to interchange the, the clicks. And I'm mm -hmm. like... We've been over this before. If you're going to have it... Oh, and of course, they also ship, once again, the best clicks in the mouse. Mm -hmm. That's like when... when uh, what's his face? Uh, Steel Series made the Rival 700 and shipped the literal best available sensor at the time in the mouse already. Mm -hmm. And was like, oh, you know, we have another sensor you could swap into it. A Philips Twin Eye. What? Would you put a Philips Twin Eye in there? Would you? Oh, I love it. I love being able to pick up the mouse and then have the cursor just move. Oh, no, it wasn't a Philips one. It was an uh, uh, 8200 or whatever. Yeah. Which is, I guess, kind of better. Yeah. But it doesn't have, like, a bunch of smoothing and stuff in it. So, yeah. yeah. Why would you take best, unconditionally, the best sensor and... Wait, so you already spent $100 on that mouse, and then the new sensor was, like, 40 or $50 to buy a worse sensor. Yeah. Are you drunk? Maybe maybe you train with the worst one, so that that way when you get in the tournament, you're like you're better. Is that is that how it works? You use that as like like lift, is that like lifting weights. I don't think that's how it works. That's the I'm sorry. It's the Viper 8K and the EBGA X17. That's what it, it is. It looks so big and fat though. EBGA X17. All right, guys. Well, we're getting to the end of. What the cameras got and i think we've had way more thoughts on on you know this mouse than probably needed there you go yes yeah. yeah. there's your evga x17 mouse yeah they're going for specs again i gave yeah. jacob EV from evga crap about that already um so, but uh i would say like of the 8k variants of it your viper is probably your best but if you wanted a comfortable right-handed variant and you wanted to try out that's probably the way to go is the Corsair. Yeah, and I would say it's pretty decent, especially if you want those bigger right-hand ergonomic mouse. It really fills up the hand. I, I'm going to use it. Yeah. Upstairs, give it a shot. Yeah. Um, and, like, we gave some examples of mice that, especially lower-end ones, there's a lot of lower-end big mice, because those were popular a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. that you might be using, and that would definitely be an upgrade yeah. too. Yeah. For sure. Um. And I would skip the RGB unless you have other Corsair RGB stuff. Because, A, you're also running that software. Yeah. No. Just, no. It's, no. It's not fun. Yeah. I avoid IQ. So, uh... Even though know, they haven't proved it, but it's still... <laughs> it still was kind of a pain getting it to save properly to the mouse. So... It, that's like... It's like improving, like... Uh, we, we now, like, don't tear all the garbage out of the bag. We leave it in the dumpster. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, like it is what it is. So, <sighs> but yeah, so it, it is an interesting mouse. I still think the Katar Pro XT is really what enthusiasts want, not this guy. Yeah, I think this is what Corsair thinks enthusiasts want. 